means to cover a sword. Hallelujah. Read. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Uh -huh. And that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments now, about their close. feet. If I walk up to you and take your Bible out of your hand, you ain't got no Bible. Amen. If God took away, yes. read it the bravery of their tinkly ornaments about their feet and their claws and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and the, the chains bracelets, and the bracelets, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs, and ornaments the, leg, the, the anchor chain, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, earrings, it took away them too, uh -huh. the rings and nose jewels, the rings and nose jewels. Now the Bible said he took them away. He never gave them back. I said at Mount Horeb, Moses, when he discovered his error, he took all the ornaments away from the people. And they could no longer wear jewelry for an outward adoration. Give me Genesis 35. Jump right into verse 2. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you. Put away the strange gods that are among you. Now, this is a chosen people because they were Jacob. They were under, under Jacob's authority. So they were a Hebrew people. Uh huh. And be clean. Put away the strange gods and be clean. If you don't put away heathen customs, strange gods means heathen customs. They wasn't walking around carrying those statues of, of heathen gods. It's talking about tradition and custom. Uh huh. And change your garment. Change your garment. And let us arise and go to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob. They gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands. Heathen customs. And all their earrings which were in their ears. All right, now we're dealing again with. Disobedience. Whenever you disobey God, the Word, it shows the type of character that you have. So that's why the Word of God is to what? Correct us. How are you going to correct the Word? You're the one that needs salvation, not God. So we're the ones that need the Word. Hallelujah. And the Word will cleanse us and wash us. But we have to have the humility of heart to be washed by the word. We can't get angry at the preacher. The preacher didn't write the word. God wrote the word. But you get angry at the preacher because you don't want to fight with God, but you'll fight with the preacher. Hallelujah. But what they've done to the green tree, they do to the dry. So in other words, though they might uh, come against the preacher, really what they're saying, Lord, I disagree with what you are teaching. And they prove it by going to the Church of Christ, Lutheran Church, Episcopal Church, Church of God in Christ, and, and uh, uh, Nazarene Church, and how many more churches? We'd be all night trying to name all the denominational churches that they have in Christianity. Why? When Paul said, speak the same thing. Right. One church. God is coming back for one church. Where in the Bible did it say, go to the church of your choice? Show it to me. And I'll read this Bible page by page tonight if you show me that passage. And we got a concordance right back there. Amen. Go to the church of your choice, show it to me. God ain't never said that. That's another lie they put on, on Jesus. Why is it they have these so-called prayer gatherings and we want to have the Catholics and the Muslims and uh, if you got some Hindu, y'all come too. God loves y'all too. Are you insane? God died for believers. If you follow Islam, you're not a believer in Jesus Christ. If you follow Buddha, you're not a believer in Jesus Christ. What are we going to come together for? Two can't walk together unless they agree. And I sure don't agree with you. And I know you don't agree with me. That's why you keep trying to blow up America. They just called another one the other day. And he was so stupid, he didn't even know what he was doing. He had firecracker to, to, to light, light, light a bomb. Yes. And uh, the man said, well, he, he needed to get caught. Because he's so stupid, he didn't even know what he was doing. Had the van and everything, all the 
explosive, but didn't know how, how to make yes. it work. Thank you, Lord. But now, he'll be all right when they finish with it. Yeah. He'll die in prison. Right. And when they catch one of them terrorists like that and put them in prison, you know, they keep them segregated. Right. They only allow out an hour a day. You can imagine being in a cell with three by six for the rest of your natural life. You got to be in his late 20s, early 30s. Mm -hmm. Rest of his life. And they learn how to walk like a caged animal. Mm -hmm. Walk. That's all they can do is walk and exercise and walk. Exercise. One hour a day. Yes. And a bath, a shower once a week. Mm -hmm. And they got to live like that in a cage. You mean to tell me I'm going to let Muhammad tell me to do that? Right, you, you deserve it. You deserve to go in that, in that cage. And they have, they have a family, wife and kids. What's going to happen to them? People don't think. But whenever, y'all hear me, whenever you let a devil set a trap for you, if you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, you're going to walk straight in. We have to be very careful. And this is why we can ne never commit a willful sin. The mark of the beast is being applied right now. Give me Revelation 14, chapter. Check the revelation. Uh, pick up verse, eight. verse 8. And there followed an, another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and the great city, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, Babylon is named here because I told you before it was a Babylonian influence that could really corrupt it and brought an apostate movement. Uh, to really uh, decimate the Christian church. When Constantine took control over the Christian church at Nicaea, 325, he introduced Babylonian festivals, Christmas for the birth of Tammuz, Easter for the death and reincarnation of Tammuz. He introduced the Easter egg, he introduced the Christmas tree, he introduced uh, 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 the three God doctrine, he changed water baptism, from Jesus' name, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And I defy anybody watching over YouTube, I dare you to correct me. I said Constantine and the Roman Catholic forefathers changed water baptism from Jesus' name to words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And I dare you to try to correct me. Why do you baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Well, that's what Matthew said. Matthew ain't never said that. Jesus ain't never said that. He said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name, singular name, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Father in creation, Son of redemption, Holy Ghost in blood. And who we are. But his name is not Father, his name is not Son, and his name is not Holy Ghost. Now, you go to the bank, and you got $10 in there, and you ask to draw $1, and write down Father on that check. Right. And say, I want my money. I want my dollar. They say, well, what is your name? Father. You know what they're going to do? They're going to call the police for you. This man crazy. Yeah. You've got to have the name to make it legal. Yeah. A legal transaction. Yeah. So Jesus makes the transaction legal unto salvation. So when you get buried with Christ in baptism... To rise and walk through some night of light, you've got to be buried in the name of the testator to the will. And the testator to the will was the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary to solidify the New Testament covenant. Amen. Now, how are you going to change that? Amen. All right. In Revelation 14, chapter, we see here Babylon, the Greek, is fallen. All nations have oh. drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication. Yes. Now, fornication is twofold. Amen. Is spiritual and physical. Yeah. Now, in the physical fornication, I said all these diseases that are blood related comes from fornication. Right. And I'm talking about the physical act of yeah. fornication, the sexual act. God established a rule. This is why marriage is so important. And this is why the governmental system today, right today, is trying to destroy the Bible and the Christian 
ethics. 